Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. I just love saying that. So in this video, I will be creating this look that you guys see here. Perfect look for Valentine's Day. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to know, are y'all tired of me yet? Are y'all tired of me yet? <laughs> I'm coming through with the looks, baby. I've just been in the mood, okay? And I'm so happy I'm in this mood. Y'all, I'm just so happy that I'm not in that huge funk that I was in a few months ago. So yeah, we're coming back to back with the looks. This is a Valentine um, eye that I created. <laughs> it's pretty dramatic. So if you're looking for something more natural, you should check out my last video, my two latest videos. But this one is for my girls that just want to really pop out, you know. So I used two palettes. Did I use two or three? Okay, I used two eyeshadow palettes. I don't like really doing tutorials and showing you guys looks where you have to have like five to six palettes like you know I don't want to dip and dab in too many palettes I try my best to work with one you know so you don't have to go out and splurge on so many palettes and it's just, it's just too much so this is the first palette right here is the Pro Fusion Mirage palette how pretty are these colors y'all so you can find this at Walmart and of course you can go to their website as well so I'm gonna take this shade right here is this one so it's the shade right underneath the gold glitter in this palette and this will be my transition color and with transition colors you want to go a little bit above your crease and y'all know this is my favorite crease brush it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills A10 brush So the next palette that I use to create this look is the Juvia's Place Berry Palette. And this is what it looks like, you guys. I really love Juvia's Place palettes. Like, the shades that they have and all of their palettes are so me. I love the deep reds, the deep browns, deep oranges. Like, I love that. And I actually ordered two more of their... I ordered a bunch of things from Ulta um, last night. And I got a few of their palettes and um, two of their concealers because I really want to try their concealer. If you guys try Juvia's Place concealer, please let me know what you think down below. I heard they're very full coverage because their foundation sticks are real nice. They're very full coverage and I love full coverage. So let me know if you like it. Um, I'm going to take this shade right here. Um, it's the first shade when you open the palette. And I'm taking the same brush, y'all. This is how I've always been doing my looks. If you go back to my old videos, I barely switch out to like so many brushes. It gets exhausting. <laughs> I've been using the same brush. I just use, I just apply it in a different way if that makes sense. The next shade I will be taking is this one. And I'm going to be taking this on a Morphe. Y'all, I don't know. Um, these brushes right here came in like a set. I think it was a set of four. But I don't think they have it anymore. I'm not sure. And I don't know the name or anything. I'm sorry. But it's a little tiny. As you can see how small it is, it's perfect to get right up in the crease. You guys, I went ahead and cut my crease already. I used my Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Concealer in the shade 145 Warm Beige. And I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills A4 Flat Brush. I think it's really perfect to cut your crease with a flat, rounded brush. Because it makes it so much easier to, like, curve. You know what I mean? And I didn't forget that I did ask you guys, um... In one of my older videos, if you guys would like a more detailed video on how to cut your crease, I still will be filming that video very soon. But moving on, I will be taking the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadow. This one is in... This one is in Froyo. And it's really pretty. So I'm going to take the shimmering side. There are two sides. One is matte and one is shimmer. And... I'm going to just do like that and with these you guys they dry up really fast so if you're using this 
I would say like work quick with this. Take this BH Cosmetics flat eyeshadow brush. For eyeliner, I will be using, y'all, this is my favorite eyeliner right now. Y'all know I love the Essence uh, Matte Black Liquid Liner, but this e.l.f. black liner right here is so bomb. So next, I don't know if you guys can see... But I applied a glitter liner on top of the black liner. So the glitter that I use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Glitter right here. I'll leave the name down below. This is the NYX Glitter Primer. This is what I always use when I'm working with any kind of glitter. And I always apply my glitter like this. Because I have a bunch of loose glitter. It can be pretty expensive to buy all of the all of like the glitter liners that they come out with for a good one. But if you have a glitter liner that works really good, then go ahead and just use that. So I forgot to show you guys the lashes that I applied. So the lashes that I applied, I stacked two together. They're both from INV. If you guys see my last video, I showed them. I double stacked it, y'all. I tried that on in my last video. And I used the numbers 65 and 45 and put them together. And this is what I got. Very full. If you love full lashes like I do, very thick, full, dramatic lashes, um, you will love this style. Stack them together. I promise you. I promise you, they look good. <laughs> I'm gonna just quickly wipe all this glitter fallout that I have. How did the glitter get up here though? And I'm gonna start off by moisturizing my skin. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Hydrating Facial Oil. So for primer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Power Primer. For foundation, I'm using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte in the shade Toffee. And it looks like this. For concealer, I'm using the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade 150 Natural Sand. Y'all, I love this concealer. Next, you guys, I'm going to be cream contouring. I'm using the Huda Beauty Cream Contour in the shade Light. And I'm going to use my Equal Tools Base Buffer Brush to buff this out. To set my concealer in place, I'm using the Huda Beauty Banana Bread um, Setting Powder here. I don't take a lot of powder because the concealer is already thick. So I don't want to do too much with the powder and then end up being cakey. See how flawless that looks, you guys? Next, I'm going to take my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm going to take this shade right here. It's the first shade in the palette on the bottom left and I'm taking this on a Eco Tools round powder brush. So I love these Eco Tool brushes. Next, I already went ahead and set my makeup in place using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray here. And I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes, y'all. I'm going to go back in with the Juvia's Place Berries Palette. I'm going to take these two shades right here. And the brush that I'm using is a Sigma E54 brush.
So for a highlight, you guys, I can't stop looking at my monitor. <laughs> so for a highlight, I'm gonna use the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter. Y'all know this is my go-to highlighter now. It's in the shade Twilight Gleam. And I'm gonna use the It's My Ray Ray number five brush. I went ahead and lined my lips already as you guys can see so the lip liner that I use is the NK lip liner right here which you can get from the beauty supply store this is my go-to liner It's in dark brown and I'm thinking about applying this liquid lipstick right here from Anastasia Beverly Hills it's their liquid lipstick in the shade starfish because I really want like a true nude or should I do like a a pink color not a super bright pink, but something to match my eyes. Let me try this one out. I also applied their um, liquid lipstick in the shade Trouble. I'm going to add a little bit of gloss and I'm going to use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone. Alright you guys, so this is the completed look. Oh! Y'all, I could cry right now. It's perfection. And it looks even better in person. Oh, it looks so good. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.